Welcome to this example Solid Mastermind training video for Solid Edge with Synchronous Technology. Solid Mastermind is the complete online resource for all of your Solid Edge training needs and support questions. In the next few minutes, you will see a short example of the type of Solid Edge training material available to members of Solid Mastermind. This preview is part of the surfacing training and covers the use of the swept surface command. The swept surface command will create a surface using a combination of cross sections and guide paths or curves. There is no limit to the number of cross sections we can use, however we are limited to three guide paths. The guide paths and cross sections do not have to be connected. Also they can be planar or non-planar. The operation for the swept surface command is identical to the equivalent command in solid modelling. The main difference is that the cross sections do not need to be closed profiles or sketches and can be left open if desired. To illustrate the workflow for the command, we'll open example 12. This part already contains some appropriate sketches we can use to create a swept surface. Although profiles can be drawn on the fly as part of the command workflow, it is recommended that sketches are used as the command is preset to choose sketches and it is generally easier to use this way. We'll pick the swept surface command from the surfacing ribbon. The sweep options dialog will then appear and allow us to choose whether we want to sweep a single cross section along a single path or use multiple cross sections and paths. These options are the same as the equivalent solid modeling sweep command. First we'll use the single path and cross section option and hit OK. The first step is to pick the path. We'll make sure the select from sketch and chain option is set in the command bar. Then choose this curve and hit accept to move on to the cross section step. Here we'll identify this arc and hit accept to create the surface. An entry will appear for it in the pathfinder as normal. Let's create a more complex surface. We'll hide the one we've just created and at the same time show sketches 3 and 4. These are different sized arcs that were created on planes that were normal to the curve which is being used as the path. Then we'll pick the swept surface command. This time we'll choose the multiple paths and cross sections option then hit OK. Once again the first step is to choose the paths. Remember we can choose up to three if required. In this example we are only going to choose one. We'll choose the same path as before and hit accept. This time we need to hit next to force solid edge onto the cross section step manually. If we had picked two more paths this would have happened automatically. We can now identify the cross sections. We'll pick the first arc towards its left hand end and hit accept. Then the next cross section near the same end. This is so that we map the vertexes in the sections correctly. Notice how Solid Edge displays this with a dashed green line. Then hit accept. And we'll repeat this for the last section. Finally we'll hit preview to create the surface. There may be times when a swept surface needs to be edited in order to add additional control to it. To illustrate this we'll show sketch 5. This contains another arc which is similar in size to the other one in the middle. We'll now edit the sweep so that it uses sketch 5 too. We'll choose edit definition from the context menu then choose the cross section step. The edit button here allows us to select existing cross sections in order to modify them in some way. However, to add a cross section we need to hit the sketch step. Then since we are using an existing sketch we'll make sure it is set to select from sketch. Then pick the arc at the appropriate end and hit accept. If we then try to preview the feature it will fail. This is because the order of the cross sections is wrong. The new cross section is being selected last instead of third. To rectify this we can pick the cross section step again, 
then choose the cross section order. This allows us to define the appropriate order so that section 4 appears above section 3. We can then hit OK and preview. The surface now passes through the new cross section too. Now we'll open example 13 in order to look at some of the additional options in the sweep command. Once again we have a couple of sketches available in this part. We'll pick the swept surface command. In the options dialog we'll make sure we have the single path and cross section set. Also we want the face merging option to be set to no merge and the alignment to be normal. We'll pick the longer sketch as the path and the other one as the section and create the feature. Now since the path and cross section were made up of multiple lines and arcs, the resulting swept surface is also made up of multiple surfaces. Since we are still editing the surface, we can go back to the options and change them. Here we'll choose the Along Path option for face merging and hit OK. Solid Edge will attempt to merge any faces it can along the path of the surface. Going back to the options again, we'll now select the Full Merge option. Here we can see that all faces, if possible, are merged and we have a single face or surface representing the sweep. We can also control the cross-section alignment. Currently it is set to normal. This means the cross-section stays normal to the path along its length. If we set it to parallel, as shown, it will stay parallel to its original orientation along the length of the path. To finish, we'll set it back to normal. 